This piece is called The Ultimate Edge, and I thank you for listening. Tony himself says that words have the power to pierce through the conscious mind. So being a poet, a poet who thankfully now knows it, it just seemed natural to construct something out of all of his teachings combined. Just take a second to rewind, to store this wisdom in our mind, and piece by piece it's more refined until we are no longer blind. So I'm going to just repeat a few of the things that Tony said, because well, I feel it's really important we get them into our head. The kind of things we should repeat to ourselves every night before bed, and every morning when we wake, say them again, just for the sake of making sure that we really fucking get this shit. So let's go. It's our decisions, not our conditions, that shape our destiny. But as you're all here right now, I'm sure you'll agree that making good decisions can be one of the hardest tests, you see. And so the quality of our life comes down to the quality of our decisions. And the quality of our decisions comes down to what? The quality of the questions that we ask ourselves. You know, the things that we ask ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Like when the shit hits the fan, is it, why must I, or how do I face this? Do you choose to resist what you cannot change, or do you choose to focus on what you can rearrange? Is life happening to you? Are you a whim to its will, or is life happening for you by the force of your will? Be still, just for a moment. Listen to this, because if you listen carefully, this wisdom will lead you to bliss. So back to resistance. What you resist will persist because where focus goes, energy flows. That was said fucking years ago, so really by now everyone ought to know, but hey ho. There's just another little reminder that what you focus on grows. And all resistance comes down to a base emotion of fear. Normally a fear of the loss of the things that you hold dear. Maybe a fear of failure or a fear of success. Many hidden fears, many hard to detect, many hard to reject. And the only way to conquer fear is a hunger for something more, a greater desire for something better, an innate impulse to grow and explore and discover your full potential that lies in store. You see, people tend to have so much passion for the things that they don't want, don't they? They'll tell you with so much energy everything that they wish to avoid, devoid of a desire to move towards the fantasies with which they've toyed. Motive really matters. Are you driven by the need to avoid potential pain or are you driven by the thought of all the pleasure you can gain? See, Tony, He's not your guru. Just a random guy who you can choose to fix your life, making you a better you, not true. The only guru who can do that for you is the ancient sage that lies within you. All you need is within you now. You just have to reach within and you will clearly see how. And although he's not your guru, Tony can help you to make lasting change. He can shake you up and flip things round and help you to rearrange because really, be honest, are you really having the time of your life or is life a battle, a constant struggle filled with pain and strife? Have you got on the ultimate edge? Have you found your inner strength to realize your grandest visions? Would you go to any length? Or are you so afraid of death that you're afraid to live? Are you scared about giving the special gifts you came to give? Or have you already told yourself that you have nothing to give? Or even tried to convince yourself that you have no reason to live? Because that's fucking bullshit. If ever I heard it, I've heard some mad things, but that's just absurd shit. You, 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 you have so much to give. So many reasons to live. This life is a gift, a golden privilege, and linking each one of us is an invisible bridge. A naked bond to the eye ties us together through time, so all the wisdom within Tony lies too within you and I. But let's just keep on repeating it a few more times because... Repetition is the mother of all learning. Our intuition is returning. Ambition and yearning to win this game. All that it takes is a simple reframe, deframe and rename. Continue to train. Move from the slow into the fast lane. Accelerate now to break through your pain. Regenerate about to take hold of the reins. You've done it. Wow, celebrate now with a glass of champagne or a line of cocaine or any other distraction you'd normally use to numb that pain. Fuck. What a shame. Slipped back to old habits. Peace seemed within reach, but you just couldn't grab it. Repeating behaviours that keep you entrapped and the only saviour is you. That's a fact. Just know that you have to master your emotions, your emotions will master you. You have to take control of your mind if you want to see things through. Stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. If you want to master any skill, then you should look at getting a coach. Someone who can really help you to figure things out. Someone who can help you move past all the fear, the uncertainty, and the doubt. Honestly, that's what Tony did for me. Helped me to see with clarity exactly where I had to be, how to set myself free and find the faith to trust in me. And that's why I wrote this poem for you, because now all I want to do is help others too. So tell me, 
What's your driving force? What really fuels your fire? What is it that heats your body up with the fire of desire? What future vision can inspire you to climb higher? What ideal lifestyle would you most admire? How many different ways can you find to inspire? What's the highest version of yourself to which you could possibly aspire? And what kind of attributes would that version of you require? Integrity, honesty, wisdom and love, strength, courage, faith for all of the above. Get clear on what you need to make success what you receive. Then step into that you that is living through your truth. Because it's always up to you which path you take. But every choice that you make is what dictates your fate. So choose to live your life with passion. Choose to live your life in a beautiful state. A generous, grateful, playful, loving state. Because when you put yourself in these states, you treat everybody else better. When you live each day with that love shining luminously through you, you bring a light into the dark night that illuminates the truth. It doesn't matter who you are, we each have the same power within. There's nothing you can do wrong, nothing you've ever done before has been a sin. It's time to take all these limiting beliefs and put them exactly where they belong, straight in the bin. Cool, so now we've done that, I guess we're almost finished, but there's just a few more things. Are you doing it incantations? Are you raising your vibration? Are you fulfilling all six of your human needs? Ensuring it's not just your body that you continue to feed, but that you expand your mind with the things that you read and you water your soul by nourishing your seeds. Ensuring that you're growing in every way. Contributing to the greater good each and every damn day. Changing this whole world with the words that you say. Creating brand new futures in this game that we play. This game we've called life. So in conclusion, you have to make your life your masterpiece. Step beyond the demands of the moment and design the life that you deserve. Tap into the power you have in reserve and discover all the unique ways in which only you can serve. You have to get crystal clear on your desired results and even clearer on your purpose. You have to make a massive action plan then the solutions begin to surface because we each have the power that we need to create the life that we desire. We each have the tools to reach the top. We were each born with wings to take us higher. It's just that, sadly, we were never taught how to fly or what that would require. But we're here and we're learning together. And watching young eagles preparing to soar is truly a sight to admire. So I thank you, all of you, for coming here today and doing the things that you need to do to consciously create a better you. I know it's hard work, but the rewards will be many. And before I go, let us all take a moment to cultivate an extreme attitude of gratitude for the one and only Mr. Tony Robbins. For he has inspired me and he continues to work tirelessly each and every day, relentless in his mission to make this world a better place by helping millions of people to create their own brighter days. A vision that I can clearly see coming true. Right here, right now, with you today. Thank you so much for listening. I just want to take a moment to big up Anthony Robbins for inspiring that piece and for changing my life. I really want to shout out to my coach, Linda Keddy, who I did six months of coaching with and she helped me to do some of the hardest things that I never thought I'd be able to do in life. And doing those things proved to me that I can do anything. And it's part of the reason that I'm here now. I've written this poem, I'm doing this video and I'm coming to UPW as crew. So thank you, Linda. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for everybody that listens to this and makes UPW the best yet it's ever been this year in London. And I love you all. And if anybody has a place to stay, let me know because I got nowhere. Thank you. <laughs>